this week's lesson. We're so excited to see you guys. So let's start with the song. Shine Jesus, shine. So stand up and sing with us. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free with the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Okay guys, we are going to play a game. So we'll have characters and then we'll zoom into part of a picture so you can guess who it is. We'll also have a little bonus point or a bonus clue where we put the soundtrack of where that character is from so you can guess. So here's our first character. Who has that arrow, the blue arrow? On their forehead. On their forehead. Let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Earth, fire, air. Long ago, before me. Okay, now let's zoom out. Oh, it's Ang from the Avatar. Well done if you guessed it, guys. The last airbender. How? Oh, well done if you guessed it right. Let's move on to the next one. A fedora. Who do we know that wears a hat like that? Let's zoom out and find out. It's Agent P from Phineas and Ferb. Nice, nice. Next. Who do we know with red hair like that? That's an odd shaped head, isn't it? Rather. Days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem Let's zoom out. Oh, it's Phineas, also from Phineas and Ferb. I could have guessed that. So could I. Let's move on to the next one. Anyone can tell who this person is. Look at those eyes. Big and brown. Let's play the soundtrack. Okay, let's zoom out and guess who it is. It's Dora from Dora the Explorer and her monkey boots. And her map, map. and her backpack. And her backpack. Our last one, the bonus. Who do we know with the cheeks like that? And a big, big smile. And yellow, yellow. How many yellow people do we know? Are you ready, kids? Okay, let us zoom out. Oh, it's SpongeBob. Well done if you got it right. I hope you had so much fun playing this game. As we did. Thanks. Now let's get into the Bible. So let's get into our story. So two weeks ago, we learned about Jairus and his daughter who was sick and Jesus healed them. And then last week, we learned about the deaf man that Jesus healed as well. So let's get into our story about a man called John. John liked the outdoors. He loved living outside because that gave him the chance to talk to lots of people. He said, we must stop doing bad things. Someone special is coming, a man sent by God. When he comes, he'll be upset with everyone who does bad things. You better change now and be ready for him. When Jesus came, John told everyone, 
This is the special person God sent. Listen to him. Then John was sent to prison because King Herod didn't like the things he said. John hated to be indoors all the time and he became really sad, but his friends often came to see him. John asked, what is Jesus doing? He's telling, is he telling everyone how bad they are? No, they said, Jesus is very gentle. John began to worry. The man who God sends should make everyone do good things and live God's way. Perhaps Jesus isn't the special person after all. His friends are worried too. Shall we go and ask him, they said. Yes, said John. Go and ask him if he's a special man God has sent. Come back soon and tell me what he says. John waited in prison. He felt very lonely and afraid. Jesus should tell King Herod not, not to be bad, he thought. Jesus ought to shout at Herod and make him be very sorry for what he's done. He was so pleased to see his friends again when they came. Did you see Jesus? he asked. His friends sat down with him. Yes, we saw Jesus, they said. And what did he say? John asked. He told us to tell you all the things he's doing. He is very powerful. Well, what is he doing? asked John. Is he telling everyone how bad they are? No, said his friends. Jesus is very powerful, but very gentle. He makes blind people see. He makes lame people walk. He heals sick people and he makes deaf people hear. Poor people are, having, are hearing good news that God loves him. That's what we saw. John said nothing. He wondered what it all meant. Jesus was powerful but gentle. He didn't shout and make people afraid. He helped them instead. Maybe that's what God wanted. God had sent a special person who was kind and loving. So Jesus was God's special person after all. Jesus was God's son, the Messiah, the Savior. So this week's lesson, memory verse, comes from John 6, verses 29. It says, Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. That's John 6, verse 29. Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. We should learn to put our lives in Jesus' hands. With the miracles we've seen and read about in the Bible, and how we've seen Jesus doing things for other people, how he's made blind people see, deaf people hear, and lame people walk. Seeing is believing, and seeing these things happen in our day-to-day -day lives on how he helps us with the things we need help with, seeing him help other people with the things they need help with, we should learn to trust Jesus. So let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you came right where I am, unsure of what is best, but seeing all you do teaches me to trust in you. Amen. All right, guys, thank you for listening to our lesson. So we'll catch you guys next week. Make sure to tune in and be with us through our lessons. Bye. Bye, guys.